place, pause it at mid stanza. That's that interluding music that was on there is called a break. Hopefully today, maybe it'll probably be Saturday before I can do any music. Uh, there's a lot going on tomorrow. I've got a really busy Friday coming up. My sweetheart is sitting right there looking pretty and drinking a herbal tea that probably doesn't taste that great. Um, this morning I've already um, been to see my youngest adopted son or youngest adopted grandson. He referred to Jerry and I as his two adopted grandpas. Well, I'll take that any day of the week I could get it. Um, he's wanting to hire a gal and I did a background on her and I expect a phone call any time to ask me to come back to the office at Lodge 3 for an interview um, and I told him I would do that. I'll make time to do it. Um, the bathtub that Nick made me is going out in front of the house. Um, my wife came in fuming because the goats and sheep had no water. My son Benjamin supposed to take care of that. Um, and then uh, as I am wont to do, every morning I check newspapers, the obituaries, and the reason I do is I have friends that I've lost that I haven't seen in a while, and I learn about, and when the, the uh, Davis News comes out, I always check it too. Um, I have friends I ha I've lost touch with, and every now and then they'll be in the paper, and I say a little prayer for their family. Um, this morning, while I was checking the, the Oklahoman, the Daily Oklahoman, on the obituary page, there was my stepfather, Milton S., quotation mark, Sam Byer. Uh, he died on the 22nd of July. I did not know that. Nobody had informed us because they consider us a pariah. I cannot honestly say that I liked Sam at all. He, uh, he was a hard man, very self-centered, selfish, and mean-natured with people. He had a lot of money, and he tried to use that to bully people. Um, however, I really hope he's not in hell. I hope he went to a much better place. Let me explain why. We don't know what's in that other person's heart and soul because we're not in their their skin. And if you're not in that individual's skin, you don't know what's taking place. Um, there is supposed to be eight and a half percent of the Milton S. Byer family trust hit my wallet and hit my son or my brother Chris's wallet and our grand our children are supposed to get $5,000 each. It takes about 90 days to settle up in a state like that. Um, I will be contacting my attorney here probably Saturday, maybe Sunday. Um, he still is waiting to get his, his license back. Um, and we will see what will transpire. I talked to my brother Chris about it and he said, what do we need to do? And I said, well, I'll take care of it. He had already contracted an attorney, one of his lawyer friends, to take a look at it and he hasn't heard back from him. Uh, me, I'm a... It does make a difference to me. It really does, but it's not something I fret about or worry about or sit here and wring my hands worrying, well, am I going to get an inheritance or not? You know, I'm old enough that the end of my life is pretty much in the near future. I understand that. My goal in life, above all else, is to be remembered as someone who was like that sign says up there, kind. I'm trying to be the person my Father in Heaven wants me to be. I'm trying to be the person my Lord Jesus, Yeshua ben Miriam, wants me to be. 
and it is hard for me because I'm not a naturally kind person, uh, but I am working as hard as I can on myself. I'm trying to be a good steward of those blessings that I've been blessed with, trying to be a good patriarch for my family. I take these things more seriously than anything else that I deal with in life. I try to be a good husband, which I'm better than I used to be, and try to be a good father and grandfather. I'm better than I used to be. Um, this is the first morning in a long time that I woke up relatively pain-free. Left hand hurts, but the left hand always hurts. It's had more trauma to it than most people would believe. It, uh, but I'm sitting in the office with my sweetheart, gazing upon her beautiful face and being very thankful that my father gave her to me. You know, she's wonderful. Tomorrow we have to take her to see her oncologist. Um, I'm going to have to wear bibbed overalls tomorrow instead of shorts, and the reason is I don't take her anywhere outside of Davis or Murray County that I don't wear a really large caliber pew pew. Let's put it that way. It, uh, and I'm a uh, in the middle of, of transcribing some stuff right now, or was, uh, I hadn't planned on doing a lot of paperwork, but it looks like I'm going to be. Uh, the Because I've had second and third chances, I'm prone to give other people second and third chances. The gal Matt's wanting to hire was up front with him about everything. She hit a rough spot about 10 years ago. And uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Um, she believes that she can get a provisional driver's license and I don't believe she'll be able to simply because um, she has a lot of money she still owes. Uh, the closest I could figure, she's got about $8,000 worth of unpaid uh, court costs and fines out there. I, I didn't add it all up, I just did it kind of in my head. Uh, people make a mess of their life and then they don't understand why they can't get anything done. And it's usually due to their childhood. I'm, I'm going to use Milton Samuel Byer as an example. He grew up in Kansas extremely impoverished. I mean, and he grew up poor and he grew up hungry. And then he joined the Navy and he was at Pearl Harbor when it got uh, destroyed. Yeah. I can tell you the name of the ship. I printed off his uh, obituary. He was on the USS Omni, which was Omni Bay, which was uh, hit with a kamikaze attack in January of 1945. I think they've got a misprint there. That would be in in a Jan in a December of 1941. Uh, it might be that he was telling stories, but his uh, light aircraft carrier evidently sank. I haven't done any research on that. I'll have to. I know that he used to ridicule me for things that I'd done and things I'd been involved in and uh, he got out and he got a civil engineering degree. I didn't know he had that and I don't believe he did. 
he worked for several construction companies. The thing he was good at was saving money. The other thing he was good at was taking money that was not his. That is a fact. I can prove what I'm saying. When they had the bid rigging thing take place in, in a, back in the 70s and 80s, or 70s, late 70s, 80s, I don't remember when it was, he used my mother and opened several accounts in her name to shift money around to keep it hidden from the federal investigators. You know, that's what I'm saying. You never know what someone is like inside. My, my thing I'm looking at is he probably was so afraid of being poor again that he'd do anything to make sure that didn't happen. But that's neither here nor there. Now, why would I even accept that money? Because he stole an adult relationship with my mother for myself and my brother Chris. He stole time for uh, my, my sons and, and grandchildren from my mother. He, and uh, she had money. And the other thing that uh, they don't understand, she had money when he married her. She didn't, she wasn't impoverished. That's all neither here nor there. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm going to get back to doing the stuff I need to do. Uh, I do want all of you to know that this crippled old fat curmudgeon loves all of you with my whole heart. Everything I've got to love you with. And I want God to bless all of you with everything He's got He can bless you with, which is endless. I want all of us to get to heaven. I do. And one of the key things to doing that is accepting Yeshua ben Miriam, Jesus, as the Savior because he was and is. And another one that doesn't hurt, like that sign there says, be kind. Bye.